When it comes to your wedding, choosing your photographer is the most important thing. Your flowers will wither away. You'll sell your dress or hang it up in your closet. And you'll eat your cake before your first anniversary. But your wedding pictures will last a lifetime. When it comes to wedding photography, it's always important to have the right gear. Now gear is just having the right tools to do the job, just like an artist needs some paper and pencils to draw a picture. Now I shoot with four professional digital SLR cameras by Canon that cost about 3000 each. So I keep two of those cameras on me at all times, so I never miss a moment. Now I could potentially shoot an entire wedding with an iPhone. But the lenses that I use allow me to photograph in the darkest settings. All the different lenses that I use allow me to do different things, just like a painter uses different size brushes. A telephoto lens allows me to be close to the action without being obtrusive. A macro lens allows me to get down to the finest detail of a ring and even see the engravement. And a wide angle lens allows me to get the entire wedding party if it's a huge wedding party or even all the guests that came to your wedding in one big great photo. An iPhone can't do that. I show up to every wedding about two to three hours before the actual ceremony begins. Here I am photographing at Linden Place Museum in Bristol, Rhode Island. I'm getting some exterior shots of where the wedding is being held and then I'll work my way inside and get some detailed shots of the dress, the flowers, and the shoes. Okay. This also gives me some time to interact with the bridal party and capture some joyous images of them seeing the bride in her beautiful dress for the first time. Capturing these moments is key to being a successful wedding photographer. A second too late and you miss that moment. Take a look at this video clip where I move positions from where I was to where I now am to capture this moment of the beautiful bride and her sister. This also gives me some time to interact with the bride and get some stunning portraits of her in her gorgeous wedding gown. I'll also take a few moments to show her how I want her to pose. From there I'll head into some family formals. Close. And pictures of the bride with her bridesmaids. A group shot and then I'll work into individual shots of the bride with each one of her bridesmaids. It's always important to continue to interact with the bridal party. Maybe tell a few jokes, get them to lighten up a little bit. Because a wedding is a stressful day. I'll then head over to the church and make sure to get there before the bride does so I can capture some images of her getting out of the limo. The bride is always filled with so much joy at this moment because she's anticipating seeing her Prince Charming. Here I capture a fabulous image of a bride laughing with her sister. Once inside the church, I'm down front and off to the side so I can capture these wonderful images of the bride and her dad. I spend the remainder of the ceremony off to the side and in the middle aisle using my telephoto lens, again not being obtrusive, so I can capture the ring exchange and the kiss. After the ceremony, I make sure to take a nice formal image of the bride and groom together. They will most likely get this picture framed and hung on their wall, so I make sure to capture this. From there. I move into more formals, 
this time with the entire wedding party. Also at this time, I like to capture some fun, formal images of the bride and groom. Back at the reception site, I like to incorporate different things in each photo, like this beautiful grand piano, and the couple kissing in front of the gorgeous mansion. Before the introductions, I make sure to get some detail images of the cake, the rings, and the table settings. Wedding photography is not an easy job. I spent about 30 hours on each wedding, 10 at the actual ceremony and reception, and 20 is spent culling and editing 4,500 images. But I love my job and enjoy meeting new couples and capturing the love they have for each other on the happiest day of their lives.